Joe, you there? Hey, yeah, Chris, yeah. I'm in here. Okay, cool. All right. It's pulling up. Today going better than mine, I hope. <laughs> it's going good. Kids, uh... Mine, uh mine, it, mine, mine's, mine's a fun one today. I, uh... I had gone up. I was sending a care package to my daughter at Disney. Oh yeah. And so I got in. I had gone into Walmart to get her. They get a send her a gift card to put in the package and all that kind of stuff. So I walk out from Walmart. And I got the package sitting in my back seat, and I set my keys and my wallet down in the back seat as I was packaging it up. And I realized the packaging tape was up front. Oh no. And so I go. I go to close the door. The door locks. Locked my keys, locked my phone, everything in the car at Walmart. Oh, no. So now I have no phone to call for help. Wow. No nothing. Luckily, it was, you know, it's only a block and a half or so away from here. So I walked down here to call for help. Wow. I'm going, yeah, this is going to be a great day. That's brutal. That's brutal. Yeah. No, I, uh, so fun, fun. I uh, had the kids home today, so I went in and voted and... Doing some of my civic duty today, so knock that stuff out. Yeah, well, I saw somebody online had posted that. I didn't know how that worked now. But oh, I guess it, you can just walk in. Yeah, I thought. Well, I thought it'd be a lot quicker, but uh, I was about 25th in line, so. Oh really? Yeah, we bought some. Um, I think I could still do it. I think I could still do it on Monday. I'm going to do it on Monday because I completely forgot until they said, "Hey, the primary is on the 15th." Well, yep. I fly out to Utah. Monday night, so. Okay. Yeah, no, they, even through the weekend, they still uh, do voting. I think Saturday and Sunday both, so. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, oh, uh, you know, Stephanie. Maybe I'll look at that. Yeah, she's Maybe gonna, I'll look at that and see if I can't go up and squeeze it in. Yeah, yeah. Now, I ended up uh, getting a couple ducks and some chickens with the kids today at TSC and then uh, had the dog in the truck, so I thought, well, they should take them in, and I didn't realize I was going to be 25th in line, so. We gave a good show. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So you didn't want to leave. You didn't want the duck. You didn't want the dog to have a dinner. That no, that lunch not or better, snack? at least. Yeah, that, she would have ruined her dinner. So, no, we we uh we had the security guard tell us. She goes, you, you cannot let those loose. I said, we're not gonna let them loose. <laughs> Just, Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are, can you see the screen, or are you uh, you on your phone? Yep. You can see it. Nope. Okay. I I can see it. Yep. I'm all set up. All right, good deal. Well, um, I uh, I went ahead and sent the uh, stuff you gave me. I, I put a hold on the two people I'd sent the electric stuff out to, and then I reissued it today uh, to Eubanks, uh, to uh, TMV Electric, and um, Amato's, and Sellers. Hold on one. Hey, give me one sec. Yeah, sure, no problem. Okay, sorry about that. That's no no problem. So I I, um, I asked them for within a week if uh, possible. Um, but uh, told them I, I I need it as soon as possible. So, um, so yeah, they were kind of getting plans. Today. Electrics are a big one. So if you saw the emails today, they flagged it. They got out there and they did actually flag it today. So perfect. Okay. When I'm when I'm out there tomorrow, I will. When I'm out there tomorrow, I'll shoot it in. So we'll know exactly where it is. So I can update the plans for that. Okay. Cool. Well, um, I I did I asked them for quotes just based on the structure itself, assuming there was power to it, and then I figure we can work with the candidate that gives us the best uh, best price, best package, or whatever on uh, once we uh, we look through those. So uh, okay, but I got out. So you the, included in it? Did you see my spreadsheet? Yes. Yep. Okay. So I kind of broke, tried to break down the electric. I tried to break down. Yeah, I did kind of stuff a little bit. I did. I was gonna say know, I did not. What I would throw that in. Do you think they need that with the uh, quote? Yeah, I, I think so. I think we need I think we need that a little bit, you know, okay. so that they can so they can do that. Uh, I just caught that I'll have to fix that. The miscellaneous you highlighted it the ADA bars and stuff. We just need to take that out. I need to create a miscellaneous section for that. Okay. And then we were gonna do video. You know, of course they're of course they're not gonna provide us that. Okay. You know the bottom two I'll show, we should I'll just add a tag to that side there and Okay. You know, power. you know, and so we'll add that in there. So I just tried to go through the plans last night and just pick out everything I had that was, hey, you know, tried to find, figure out everything I had that we we needed to separate out. Okay. Perfect. You know, so that we could actually break it down because I know, you know, Bud Masonry will take care of the plumbing. I know, you know. You know, I went and got Josh Combs said he'd do the 
the roof drains and that kind of stuff. So that's why I wanted to try to do it. And it's kind of that email when I sent that stuff out to Home Depot too, if you saw that. Yep. Yeah, I saw that. Hopefully to get you something back here. I'll, uh, I'll include this as a uh, just a quick uh, reference um, to I'll write up a little email and send it to all four of them together and just say, hey, this is a follow-up. These are the items that require electric service and uh, see if we get them to include, include them in. Okay. Well, um, what else? Well, do you I just, you know, what? Go ahead. I mean, they need to include, we need them to include the panel work too. You yes. Know? So, I mean, that's on the electrical drawing, so. Did we have an ampage on the panel? Yep. And it was it was in the, uh, in the stuff, so. Okay. Yeah, I figured they'll pick that off the plans. I don't know if they'll they'll make sure they get these, but I'll make sure and include that. In well, and 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 if they go to, did you send them my civil plans too? Yes. Yep. Okay, because it's, I've I wrote notes on for all of it on there too, so it's all Perfect. described in there too. Okay. So. Good deal. Um, what else uh, do we need to go through today? I don't know. I guess just figuring out to make sure we're getting quotes from everybody that for all that stuff, you know. Okay. I think the next one that we need to come figure out is that um, I sent you the basketball court. I sent you the basketball court stuff. Yeah. Right? So you have that. Yep. And are we bidding that this year, or is that something I can't remember? Well, I, yeah, let's get it. I think we need to get a bid and get a number for them, so. Okay. All so, right. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Um, What, um, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm trying to open up. Yep. Quick. So, I mean, we're at the stage where all the plans are done. So okay. it's a matter of getting them out to people. Yep. So I, I have, I printed out extra sets. I'm meeting with Corey this weekend for the plumbing. I'm trying to, huh, that's kind of weird. That stuff's offset by, I wonder why I did that. Hmm. I don't know. There it goes. Okay. Um, oh, I see what I did. All right. So I've got the, the Corey will get us a price on the, on the plumbing. You know, we have the masonry stuff is going to get done by Bud Hall. The um, plumbing by Corey. The electric we need to figure out. You're getting the basketball courts out to those people. Yep. For uh, the concrete, I got the guy's name here. As soon as we get off the phone, I'll call him up for the concrete work. Okay. Um, we need to figure out, you know, I kind of mentioned it in that email I sent out earlier. Come on up here too while we're at it. So we got pavilion out. I'll take plans to the Lowe's just so we have somebody to counter. We got Bud and we got Corey taking care of flat work what the guy's name was so I know it now here if I can get my phone so it's Ben concrete so it's Ben's concrete so we'll have that out to him and then you get Eubanks and your contacts for that the gutters the mulch I mean I guess we just need to find out who can deliver us a hundred yards of mulch okay. you know Terry brought up the grants and and that's fine, but I think we need to look at other things for that or, you know. Right. Because obviously grants, you know how they work. I mean, but that's your guys' deal. I, you know, I think, yes, go get the grants, but I don't think we'll get them in time for construction. No. You know. Yeah, and the, I, I'm, are you thinking the Home Depot Foundation, was that the grant that you were looking at? The what, say again? You, you had mentioned grants through Home Depot and Lowe's. Was that through their foundations? That, I that Terry sent that email. Oh, that was Terry. Uh, okay. Yeah, Terry said equipment and mulch in it. She sent that today. Okay, I, I'll go back through those. Um, but yeah, I, I know um, typically they give some higher points for uh, veteran projects and stuff, but I haven't had very good luck with them on uh, just general park stuff. Um, they they tend to, to deviate away from uh, just.
just general projects and try to specialize in the veteran projects, it seems like. At least the Home Depot group. Yeah. I'll have to look at the Lowe's. Yeah, she said her and Chris Harriet were talking about, were wondering about a chipper, you know, and um, yeah, the and then they said something that grants from Lowe's and Home Depot. Yeah. That information I have on for Joe, you know, says one is good for tools, the other one is for material, and the other is for mulch. Okay. You know, and I just replied back just so that everybody knew the the gravity of the mulch is realistically, you know, because Lowe's doesn't, know, and they, they could, I don't know, you know, I just didn't, you know, if you're just basing it off of what Lowe's does, here it is, um, if you're basing it off of what Lowe's does, you know, it's 100 yards of, mel of, of mulch. Yeah, that's a lot. You know, 100 yards, yeah, 100 yards of mulch, so that's five, that's a minimum of five to six trucks of mulch, dump trucks. Yep. Full of mulch for our playground. Sure. And, you know, that equals out to 1,377 bags. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's, and I even went back to the mulch calculator to make sure I was right because I'm like, well, why that sounds like a lot. Yeah. So, I mean, if you go 1,377 and there is usually, I'm going to round to 70 on a pallet. Right. You know, that's 20 pallets. Of, that's 20 pallets of bags of mulch. Right. So yeah, it might be it's a lot probably of, a semi. It's probably a semi truck load. Right, probably easier going mulch. bulk than to, to do bag. I right. Well, I think it is because with bulk, with bulk, you know, and I'm hoping that and maybe this is what you can do because I'm putting this on you. Okay. You know, maybe we can find out from, you know, maybe it's worth trying to check out with you know Ohio Mulch, okay. or you know one of the local bulk mulch people. Yeah. You first, know, first and maybe be able to do that. Well, and, yeah, I mean, you're going to go buy 100 yards off of them, so they might cut you a good deal on that one. Right. And maybe, even maybe, you know, I'm just going to pick on, um, I don't wish I knew his name, but that environmental management and those guys, maybe they'll kick it in. Maybe if we checked one of them out, they have a mulch machine. Oh, okay. So what they do is they, well, what they do is they load it into a mulch, into their their truck, and then they have a machine that shoots it out. It's just like our leaf machine, huh. only okay. reverse. Interesting. And maybe they would come and just go ahead and say, hey, we'll bring out the mulch and everything like that, and they'll put it in, we, we trim out the beds, and they'll just load them up for us. Okay. And then we don't have to do any work for it, you know, and that might be worth it. You know, I don't know. You know, and maybe they would donate their labor for it or something like that. So I know, like, that benchmark and that environmental management that are off of um, Industrial Drive. Yep. Because I've seen them, that's how they do their commercial properties. Okay. They just pull the truck up next to the landscape beds and, you know, and they get a lot of them to do. They just use that machine. Now, granted, our timing on that is probably bad. I don't know that we'd get them now because they're making big money. Right. You know, doing everybody's commercial. But what uh, what I'm time sure that would we be looking at for mulching? Would we be looking at uh, April, May, or what? Uh... Uh, probably looking at end of May, beginning of June. Okay. Yeah, that's probably. You know, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I mean, we can. If they say, hey, we can't do it all at once, you know, and they say, hey, we got 20 yards, you know, one truck, we could have a playground area done for them and just say, hey, here, come do it in this, that. But then again, it could be 100 yards, and they say, hey, we'll just, we're not going to do that. We'll just deliver it. Well, if they're just going to deliver it, then we can just have them dump the 100 yards in one spot, and we'll just have to bobcat it around and all that kind of stuff. Right. You know? Okay. So, all right. Well, um, so the mulch, the basketball courts, you, I gave you those ones, and stone for the driveway. I saw an email from Ray just came in a second ago. Okay. That was yeah, so the, the guy. He's got the guy looking at the parking lots this weekend to give us an estimate. Okay, perfect. So he's got that taken care of. Yeah. Well, this is the guy that he they used at the VFW. So hopefully that's a good deal. Okay. You know, I used in that in our. On our estimate there, the, the mulch number or the stone number I used is based off of what we were getting from our guy now. Okay. You know, he gave us 20 tons for 300 bucks is what we've been getting, and that's one truckload. Okay. So that's what I used in our estimate of approximately of how much it would be. And, you know, that guy can get us lower because the, the stones running it, you know, it's 10 to 11 bucks a ton. So that's guaranteed. So the cost savings you get on it sure. will end up being... Um, the cost savings you'll get on it will end up being whatever your delivery cost. Okay. You know, Ray or uh, 
I mean, it can't hurt. And I replied back to James. James said somebody – he knows somebody up there, Shelly. Okay. So get them doing – you know, they're doing the road improvements out in the village. Right. So I don't know if they'd be willing to go with us on it or not. I don't know. You know. Okay. So – so, I think that's where we're at now is we just need to – the biggest thing right now is let's get the electrical – let's get an electrical guy. Okay. And I let them know May, May was probably an expectation there too, right, as far as us having – For stone? Do, yeah, we could do – For uh, we electric. We can pretty much do stone – we can pretty much do stone anytime we want. Well, what about for the electric? Do you think we're – Well, the electrics immediately. Immediately? Okay. I didn't immediately. know. Immediately. Well, I can't, I can't do anything else. Right now, I can't do anything else until I have the electric relocated for the park. Oh, the so you're talking about I'm literally, I'm literally at a dead stop. Okay. I cannot do anything in that park. I sent out, I haven't heard back from them, but I sent out a follow-up email and said, hey, you know, I'm gonna, what I'm going to go do this weekend is, is I'm going to go put in this – we can go put the picnic tables and we can go put the – and put the small part of the swing – or the playground in this weekend. Okay. Because I know I have – you know, I still have the auger bit and I have the – I still have the auger bit, and I still have the, um, and then I have concrete bags to put them in. But past that, I don't have I, I don't have the equipment to do the rest. I don't have anything to do the rest. So maybe the next time we'll finish up the playgrounds and do that kind of stuff while we're waiting. I don't, you know, until that electric gets relocated, I can We cannot put the pl the playground in or the pavilion because it runs right straight through them. But that's something DPNL is doing, not the guys I'm I'm bidding out to, right? James told me when he talked to the DPNL guy that was out there today that they said they that he said oh maybe we'll do it. When I talked to DPNL the other day about it, after I had figured it out, it was they'll put the wire in, but we got to dig the trench. Oh, I see. You know, and but they'll put the wire in, but they won't connect it up. So I'll need an electrician to connect it up. Okay. Because you know, we'll have to disconnect the one from the meter and and do all that kind of stuff. So. I need to kind of figure that out. I mean, I can, we can go rent a trencher, you know, we can go rent a trencher up at, you know, at Ace Hardware. Okay. And bring the tr and bring a trencher down and retrench it, and then have them put the wires in. So I could go do that, but I can't hook it up. Okay. Well, I, I didn't. You got to have an electric. You got to have an electrician hook it up. Yeah, and I didn't have the relocation as a part of the uh, quote that I shot them. So. What well, once uh, what I may do is it's in the plan. It's it's in the plans though. Okay, but it wasn't in so what what I uh, narrated as far as uh, saying hey we needed to, okay yeah, yeah the, the stuff there so um, I well, then make sure you get that because it was the electric from the panel to the building and from the build and from the panel to the concession stands and then the relocation those are all on the okay those are all on even the even the upgrade of the panels all listed on the civil drawings okay. All right. I will make sure. Uh, I'll make sure I got that in their hands. I uh, I knew um, the file size. I had to send them separately. I think one of them was 5.2, and then uh, the other one was pretty good size too. So I'll uh, I may just follow up with each of them on the phone call, make sure they got both emails, and then I'll I'll shoot them a, an update saying, hey, this is. Uh, you say, make sure the relocation. Say again, what was 5.2? There was only one set of plans I sent you. The uh, the ones yeah the one last set I sent the actual park plan to them as well. Um, so that way they could see where the building was located. So um, let me uh, let me pull them up here. You sent them the ones I sent you yesterday. The the park, the park ones. It's five grand. The five meg. That has everything in it. All that building site everything. Oh, I sent them this uh, this here because I thought that was a separate. Uh, I thought this was just construction plans. I didn't know it actually had the park location stuff in it as well. It's got everything in it. Okay, well, I'd sent uh, I'd sent both, so I'll tell them just to focus on this three ten set then. Um, yeah, that three ten set's all inclusive. Okay, all right, yeah. sounds good. I'll uh, I'll follow up with them today then before uh, before the weekend, so that way if they're putting their quotes together, I'll get them get the uh, relocation in there too. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, I think that's our our big thing. You know, okay. I mean, I we can go out there and you know. Uh, we can go out there and uh, oh yeah, they're there okay. and trench it and trench it and everything. I can go trench it and everything if that's the way we want to do it. But I need to, I need a little more direction from DPNL before we do that. You know, because I might be able to convince because because DPNL, I, I 
don't know if DPNL will hook it up to the meter or not. That's the key. Okay. You know, would um, I don't know exactly. I don't know exactly that part. I mean, if it's just the trenching, I'll go out there and paint out the marks this weekend and go Sunday and go rent the trencher and go do the trencher. I mean, it'll take me a couple hours to trench it in and say, okay, DPNL, here it is. But then it's the time of how long it's going to take them to get there. Okay. Um, I think Ray's on here. Ray, you on there? Yeah, I'm here, Joe. All right, good deal. I thought I heard. I thought I heard you log in. Hey, um, no, that's that sounds good. Um, do you, uh, Chris, do you think if we did an on-site with the electric guys, um, that it makes sense to schedule a time just to meet with them out there, and that way, if they have any questions and stuff, we run through it on-site with them. No problem with that. Okay. Um, I will. Whatever would help. Whatever would help provide more clarity for them. Yeah, I'll look at that. If that's something they can have till uh, Friday to read the plans, maybe next Friday uh, um, or even uh, midweek or something, maybe we can do it on site with them. That way uh, uh, they can throw any questions at us, see the see the site the way it sits today, and kind of give a little better clarity there too. If uh, do you, would, you, would you? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, did you get my email on the gravel? Yeah, I saw your email on the gravel. Yep, I brought it up a couple minutes ago. I saw it came through. Yeah, that works. Yeah, I'm going to be out there this take a look. Okay, perfect. You can tell them that I think you know based off of what I have here, um, mm -hmm. based off of my, based off my numbers that I base on what we'll, we'll approximately need. So the driveway. And the parking lot, you know, what do I have in there? 500, 600 ton. Okay, is that both parking lots? That, that I, does not include the vil, the one by Village, if that's what you're talking about. Okay, so he's going to look that's at just my, that's the That's the, that's the driveway back to the pavilion. And that okay. is, and that is the, um, the parking lot, just how we had talked, one row of parking and a driveway by the concession stands. Yeah, up on up, we're basically from the one that up by the church now, straight down through to the existing driveway, correct? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're right straight through. I didn't, inc I didn't include the. I didn't include the one by Village Hall. If that's where okay. you were headed with it. Okay. Well, he's coming out. To, yeah, he's coming out to look to uh, just give us a price on everything. Okay. To get it done. And that was, and that number, right. that number there, that number there was based off of how I based it. Is the driveway at six inches? And realistically, the yeah. the parking the parking lot I did it a foot. Because I figured what you'll end up doing is, is the extra six inches that you have on the high side, you'll flip it to the low side. Yep. You know. All right. I know he was rec said he recommends putting threes and fours down first. And that's and, and then that's fine. Yeah, yeah, I mean he he'll be we'll be okay. able to do threes and we'll be able to do threes and fours from the railroad ties over to the low spot. So yes, we can do that there. You okay. won't be able to do them on top of the hill because then you're gonna, you, they won't go. You know, you you you'll uh, then you'll be raising the whole driveway up a foot. Yeah, if that makes sense. Right. Right. And using them as fill, that's perfect. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's absolutely okay. perfect. Sounds good. Okay. Well, I'll set up a uh, an on site for the electric, um, and then. Uh, I'll start uh, trying to work with uh, a few folks to get the mulch quotes and the basketball quotes. Um, what else? Uh, what else do we need to go through? Flip it back to that. Hold on, give me another second here. Hey, Ray, while he's looking, what, what's your thoughts on the trail? Do you do you think you want to proceed with doing the trail grant application this year and plan to build the trail next year? Or are you thinking, uh, because we were talking about holding the basketball court off, um, would we want to hold off the grant application until next year to, to try to look at it as a 2000, uh, it would be a 2018 project? 
2018 project. Yeah, uh, what we started talking about was... Well, with the lack, with the, it, yeah, yeah, I know. With the lack of funds coming in, it might not be a bad idea. Okay. Because we have yet to receive any corporate sponsors. Okay. Well, we can... Yeah, I'm, I'm just worried that we can get all these, uh, the money to cover our part. Sure. Well, um, we talked... makes sense. Yeah, we talked last week, and that's kind of what spurred my email out to you guys was... Um, uh, when uh, we were talking, you kind of do the eight foot, you score high, but paving it, you score a lot higher on the grant. So if we had, we, we were a little bit more sure about the uh, the final product there, if we were going to include it as a bike trail as well, um, I think that would score higher on the grant. Definitely puts the cost up there and our maintenance uh, it changes a little bit. Um, but with the, you know the product changes pretty substantially yeah. if we go to it. So the other thing we were talking about was we could probably include the uh, another portion of the uh, the old railroad bed and actually have the trail beyond just being the loop. We could probably have it go somewhere if we uh, put it off in another year and uh, maybe include a little bit more in there. So I may hold off on that. I was planning on bringing that. I was kind of hoping to hear from the camp. The, the council. I was, well, no, I, was, I was kind of waiting on the county to hear their plans on that on their bike path. Oh, I see. Yeah. On uh, where? I know that they're wanting to put something together, but they had yeah, hadn't done anything yet. What they had submitted so far was uh, getting ready to um, uh, apply for something in the future under the Clean Ohio, and it may be something we can partner with them if they're going to do that. Um, that would definitely well, uh, that, that would help quite a bit. Uh, what they are going to do is okay. no, they're going to come to you and ask. They're going to come to us and ask us to partner with them. Okay, it's yeah. how that will end up happening. Yeah. We will not go in for that separately. They will come to us and ask us to partner with them because the more the partners they get, the better they score. You know, as a more community thing. Right. So that's that's how that'll work. And I'll tell you, I bet you they're. They're years from that. I mean, okay. they just got their committee and everything set up for last year. So I, they're they're years from that, you know, because they're. I mean, by the time they get in through all the litigation and everything to get the properties and all that kind of stuff and all that, they're years away. Well, that's why I was thinking if we waited till next year for an application, they'll probably still be uh, looking to partner. I don't know that they'll be as much of a financial partner, but we could always uh, we can always dream, right? But if we can get to the point where uh, we get up to the municipal line on the north side, uh, maybe the county will help us out and at least put in a trailhead. It might just be a turnaround point at this point, but uh, that'll give people uh, some type of benchmark at the end of the trail to to get to turn around and. Maybe they can advertise their uh, future plans to extend that to Marysville. So if we could connect. Uh, uh, the county runs it to us, so they have to worry about that bridge coming to South Derby. Right. South Derby, I mean. Yeah, and that's that's where I was saying, like, we, we, if we can include that in the uh, grant request, you know, we can get up to 80% of it paid for by the state. That's what I assume the county is going to want to do, too. Um, but if we, uh, since that's uh, village property, we, maybe we could approach them and see if they'll cover the 20% if we do a, uh, a uh, grant application for the bridge as well, include that in the trail grant. That's a possibility. Yeah. Hey, Chris, wasn't they bringing that rock to the railroad bed? Say again, what was? You remember when they talked? I'm they sorry, you broke up when I lost you. That. Wasn't they coming right up the railroad bed? Marysville. Yeah, both sides, both ways. Yeah, going straight up there through Marysville. Yeah, now, I mean, you yeah. might be able, you might be able to convince them to give twenty percent. I mean, I'm just letting you. Joe said it was a hundred. I'm letting you know. Joe said it was one hundred fifty thousand max, is what it is. Well, that's that bridge will cost. That bridge will cost you sixty grand to eighty grand by itself. Yeah. The the hundred and fifties for the trail here. The uh, we have a four hundred thousand dollar max for the uh, Clean Ohio, which would be the one that would would no. be a linear point A to point B. That's right. four hundred. Yeah, that's four hundred on that one. If they offer Clean Ohio, that's Clean Ohio always seems to be on the beating block, but uh, I figured that'll be a good one to go for next year after the uh, 
you know, all the politics of this uh, presidential run and stuff's over. I just feel like this year might be a little bit of a headache for uh, for putting in for that one. Yeah. Might end up not hearing about it until next year anyhow. But I, I did meet with uh, the guys up at the chamber and talked to them about the, uh, the idea of going in with them on that trail grant. And it seemed like the chamber would uh, help get county support for the project. Um, we, we were talking about as a separate application, but after uh, what we talked about last week, I do agree that I think doing this recreational trail with it will help make the uh, local share a lot smaller and it'll get a lot more done with the same grant. We'll still have two years to do it, but it'll be a 2018, 2019 project. And I think that'll go a lot further for us. Okay. I'll aim for the February 1st of next year. I, I've got all the stuff put together. I just didn't update the uh, the park plan here because we didn't really need it at, at that point. But I, I think we'll, uh, we'll have some as-built stuff to show pictures of, and that'll help us score higher too, showing that the pavilion's in and uh, the playgrounds in, and I think that'll help the trail grant score a lot higher. Well, and also note on there, also yeah, note so, on there that so. so you know I changed the path of the after talking to Howard last weekend. Yeah. Um, while we were putting a swing set up, I changed the path in the playground swing area and made it run in between the playground swing and then back out to between the playground and the pavilion, yeah. because he brought up a good point is that you know. We need to provide ADA accessibility to our swings and that kind of stuff. So it made more sense to dub that than that way when we do the ADA on it, we only have to do little five-foot walks that go, you know, five feet wide, five feet long to connect it up to all the other play equipment. So it double dips rather than having it on the outside where we would still have to go do all those paths on the inside too. Okay. Yeah, so I thought that made a good sense. So I, I flipped that around. So if, I, if I'm understanding correctly, we're going to worry about the pavilion and the park equipment now. The basketball court, the first of the year, and the trail, the beginning of would, would be end of 17, beginning of 18. Am I right? That's yeah. That's where I, I think we start doing uh, some of the the base work at the end of 2017, which the end of next year. And uh, we aim to uh, to pave the thing the following spring. Okay. okay. And that'll give us. That uh, sounds uh, like a, a work. Yeah, and we're going to still send out. Yeah, and we're still going to send out the the basketball courts for a bid. So then that way, um, right. send the basketball court out for a bid. Then that way we can at least still get a um, a price on it. Yeah, I'm gonna bid it with we'll the that, you know. We'll know that we can yeah. we we'll know we can have to update it or, or you know upgrade it or something later, but sure. at least gives us something. Sounds good. Okay, yeah. well that's all I had. If uh, if you guys have anything else you want to run through, that's fine. Um, uh, you said tomorrow you're doing a work day out at the park. Yeah, I was canceling it because of the electric line location, but then I thought I still have stuff for. I have enough concrete bags left to do the parallel bars, the the monkey bars, and the picnic tables. So all that area is sitting there ready that's to go. So I might as well take advantage of it. Okay. That stuff's over in the original site, right? Yeah, that's over at the original site. Over where we're re. Okay. okay. Yeah. So. Well, that'd be a mud. If I bring my. Yeah. My my seven year old and ten year old out are they going to be in the way, Chris? If you bring what? If I bring my uh, kids out, seven year old, ten year old, they'd be in the way, or you think they'd be able to offer some help? No, they'll be fine. Okay, good deal. Well, I'll uh, I'll try to um. They're sticking the night up at my mom's tonight, so um, I'll try to swing out there after I pick them up in the morning. Okay, we're planning on starting. We'll just you know if people volunteer that way, they still come out. And we'll still work on it starting at nine o'clock. So okay. We may be able to give me time to get every, we'll get everything out there, and we'll have somebody we'll have to throw in a trailer and run and go. You know, a couple go pick up the picnic tables and bring them over, and you know, we still need to go back and forth to bring the stuff back over. So, okay, we can run two people, two crews around, try to do like we did last week, where one was building and one was digging. So, perfect. Sounds good. All right, cool. that's all I got. Yeah, that's all I got. I'll uh, I'll plan on uh, seeing you tomorrow, and then. Uh, 
I'll keep you posted on what I hear back from the electric folks. Okay. I'll try to uh, I'll try to set a date midweek next week um, that I can meet up with them out there. We can take a look at it, and I'll try to make sure I can get that coordinated with your schedule before I book. I it. will. Uh, if you're doing it during the week next week, I won't be around. So. Okay. Well, when I am in I am in Utah. I leave for Utah Tuesday night or Monday night, and then I will not return until Sunday morning. So. Okay. You, would you want me to hold off? Um, I was gonna say I, I wouldn't. I'd probably feel more comfortable yeah. with the location stuff if we hold off, unless you think it's something you can point out to me tomorrow. I mean, I can point it out to you tomorrow if you want, but yeah, you might want to wait. Okay. All right. Well, I'll see where the numbers come back on the actual work. Maybe that'll give me a better idea of who's the best to work with, and then we can kind of go from there. Yep. All right. Well, that'll work. Good deal. Okay. All right. Thank you, cool. guys. Yep, we'll talk to you. Talk to you. All right, bye. Bye.